if you've been following the presidential election, you've probably heard the news that there's a DEI candidate in the race. That's right. That's right. Those identity-obsessed Democrats pick someone just because of their race and gender. Tim Waltz was a balancing choice for her. He's white. He's male. We do know that they wanted to get a white male on the ticket, so he's going to be that one. Here's a really important one. He's an old white dude. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Thanks to affirmative action, there is an old white guy on the Democratic ticket for the first time. <laughs> for the first time in about 17 days, okay? <laughs> I'm glad white men are finally getting their moment in the sun. Just make sure to wear enough SPF, all right? <laughs> now, nah, you all know what's really going on. According to Republicans, Tim Walls isn't the DEI hire because to them, every letter in DEI actually stands for the same thing. Black, black, black. <laughs> Which means the real DEI candidate is Kamala Harris. She's a diversity hire. Of course she's a DEI hire. 100%. She was a DEI hire. An incompetent diversity hire. This woman, this disaster whose only qualification was having a vagina and the right skin color. <laughs> That's right. Having dark skin and a vagina is an instant path to the Oval Office, all right? <laughs> If you don't believe me, take it up with Ronald Reagan's black pussy. Okay? <laughs> Listen, man, this, this argument is so stupid to me. If being a woman or a minority was the golden ticket to getting ahead in politics, then President Andrew Yang would have already done universal basic income, and President Kanye West would have already changed the national anthem to gold digger, okay? <laughs> I mean, I've looked at pictures of the last 46 presidents, and it sure seems like there's one identity in particular that gives you a leg up. White, white man. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying, Donald Trump would not have gotten the job if his first name was Donnell, all right? <laughs> He'd be a victim himself. He'd be a victim himself from his own apartments before his career could begin. <laughs> but... For, for the sake of argument, let's suppose Kamala was given a chance because of her identity. She still had to do something with it on her own. And Kamala has done a great job as vice president. Remember that one big thing she did? Me neither, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and that's exactly what you want in a VP, someone who doesn't make the news. A VP is like a carbon monoxide detector. <laughs> you want to have one, but if it makes any noise... <laughs> Something's going, something's going wrong, okay? <laughs> In fact... <laughs> yes, that's right. Um, in fact, the last time I remember a vice president doing anything that made the news, it was this. Vice President Dick Cheney apparently broke the number one rule of hunting this weekend when he accidentally shot a friend in the face. Yeah, 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 uh... Accidentally, just like he accidentally invaded the wrong country after 9-11. Yeah. Now that I think about it, uh, Dick Cheney made the news a lot. Don't be like Dick Cheney. <laughs> and this is yet another weird thing about Republicans. They always say that liberals are obsessed with race, but they're the ones who can't stop thinking about it. They had a blank slate to build a narrative around Kamala Harris, and they immediately went 1860 on us because they got black on the brain. And and Republicans aren't only saying Kamala is too black, they're also saying she's not black enough. Early in her career, she identified as South Asian. Now she is considered an African-American woman. Is she black? Is she Indian? Nobody knows. Kamala's Indian black heritage or whatever it is she wants to be today. One year she's black, the next year she's of South Asian descent. She was Indian all the way, and then all of a sudden she made a turn and she went... She became a black person. Just to be clear. I, I, don't, I don't know if you know this or not, but you can be both. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I don't, I don't want to break your brains, but two isn't even the most racist a person can be. <laughs> yeah. Bruno Mars is the most racist a person can be. And we know what's going on here. All of these attacks are to paint Kamala as just one big phony. Going to Georgia two days ago and putting on a fake Southern accent when you were raised in Canada. Whoa. <laughs> so 
So wait, she's faking being black and she's Canadian? Well, that's the worst thing you can call somebody this year. <laughs> Drake. <laughs> and it's been a rough year for Drake. And if I were a white Republican, I'd be a little worried about Democrats flipping this on me. If Republicans are appointing themselves the black police, Dems could become the white police because not all whites are MAGA whites. You got kombucha whites. <laughs> you, you got cargo short whites. You got Stanley Cup whites. Both kinds of Stanley Cup, hockey and beverage. <laughs> You've even got whatever kind of white JoJo Siwa is. White people around the country watch that clip like, she not like us, she not like us. <laughs> but honestly, I'm not even mad at Republicans for bringing up Kamala's race. They've got a job to do, and they're doing it the only way they know how. The real bullshit is the media for hearing the Republican talking points and treating it like it's a real story. The vice president's racial identity has been in the news. Identity heritage is newly injected into the race. Why is former President Trump questioning the vice president's racial identity? Talk about racial identity dominated the headlines. The claims about uh, Vice President Harris's identity will probably make the most headlines. What do you mean these claims will make the most headlines? CNN, MSNBC, ABC, you're the ones who decide what the headlines are. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> These issues don't make headlines unless you put it in the headline. And none of these issues should be a headline. If a guy came up to me on the street saying, the vice president is a chameleon, she can transform from Indian to black, I see it. I'd be like, well, God bless you, sir. Here's two dollars. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Media, if you need headlines, it's not like it's a shortage of important issues in this election. You got immigration. You got the economy. You got reproductive rights. The best place to dispose of a roadkill bear cub. Those are things that we need to be talking about, okay? Or maybe spend some time looking at how the GOP is already planning on how to steal the election by having corrupt state officials refuse to certify the results, getting corrupt judges to back them up before the whole thing goes to the corrupt Supreme Court that's already anointed Donald Trump a king, so now they can overturn the results of the election to declare him the winner in exchange for a new RV. <laughs> but, hey, man, what do I know? That's just my opinion.